This video is an introduction to Amplicon sequence variant ASV analysis with Shipster. So in this video you will learn how to do microbial community analysis using Amplicon sequence variants. And we will go through what are the ASVs and how they differ from OTUs. We will talk also about some key advantages using ASVs compared to OTUs. And then I will give an overview how the Data2 workflow looks like in Chipster and what is Data2 actually. So what are Amplicon sequence variants? So those are true biological sequences which can differ by just one nucleotide which are found by denoising the reads. So it can provide increased resolution and sensitivity compared to OTUs. And with the ASV approach in microbial community analysis, we use the abundance information and the error model in order to remove sequencing errors. And therefore, there is no need to cluster similar reads together, because it's possible to infer the real biological sequences. And on the other hand, OTU approaches normally cluster sequences together, typically with a 97% similarity threshold, in order to remove the sequencing errors. So that has the huge disadvantage that if the real biological sequences differ only by few nucleotides, those are still clustered together. And in addition, ASVs are generated without a reference, so there is no reference bias. And in the literature, the name exact sequence variants are used as well, but in this video set I will use ASVs. And like the name tells, those are exact sequences. So those sequences can be compared across studies. And a given target gene should always generate the same ASV. Thus the found ASV being as a real biological sequence can be added to reference databases and merged to other datasets with found ASVs. And removing sequencing errors makes also the chimera detection easier than with OTUs. So here in this slide, you can see a visualization made by the developers of the Data2 workflow, which shows that here in the middle, you can see the Amplicon reads. And so with the OTU approach, the similar reads like this are clustered together. And in the ASV approach, approach like here, like Data2, the real biological sequences are identified, even if those were very similar. So in result it will get four ASVs but only two OTUs. But what is Data2 actually? So it's called as Divisive Amplicon Denoising Algorithm and it's made by Benjamin Callahan. And you can see the reference here to the original publication which I will put to the video notes as well. So the Data2 algorithm uses abundance information and an error model learned from the reads to remove sequencing errors and infer the ASVs from the reads. And Data2 tries to balance between sensitivity and specificity. So it tries to find as many ASVs as possible without inferring false positives. So without inferring reads as ASVs, which are actually sequencing errors. So the Data2 workflow is now integrated to Chipster and it covers the tutorial workflow which you can find following this link here. In this, in this set of videos we will go through all the key steps in the Data2 workflow. Most of the examples are got using the MySeq data used in the tutorial workflow so here as well. But the Data2 workflow in Chipster can be used for analysis of ITS data and data produced with ion torrent as well. And I will cover the key differences during this set of videos. And as requirement, the samples need to be demultiplexed, so split to per sample FASTQ files. And if paired and data, the forward and reverse FASTQ files should contain reads in matched order. So here in this slide, 
you can see the key steps in the Red Hat 2 based ASV workflow integrated to Chipster. So we will go through all in the next videos all of these steps here and how those tools work. And after these pre-processing tools, so here in 11, we will end up in the same situation than after the motor-based OTU analysis in Chipster. So you can continue with the same community analysis tools than after the OTU workflow 10.